is my review for Hunter x Hunter episode 86, so let's get into this this week's episode of Hunter x Hunter. This was actually a very good episode this week for Hunter x Hunter. Great, great, great setup for future events to happen and stuff, and just how Gonna Killer are going to start training and stuff like that. Seeing that Netro sees that Nefropito is str actually stronger than him, which is kind of like, oh, ooh, crap. Oh, this is just, and it's just getting worse because another real guard is born. So I mean, oh, I, I can't, wait, I can't wait to see the next episode. This was, this was really good. I really did enjoy this, but yeah, let, let's get into this. So the first thing that actually happened with this episode: Gon and Killa end up meeting this girl named Palm, and Palm, she's a very interesting character. Very odd. She's a very odd character, but she's interesting. She's funny as well. Apparently, she has a, a little crush on Netero, you know, the chairman and everything. So it's just the way her personality is. She just very out of it like it just it's weird like i guess she's like very on like an emotional side or something i'm not really sure what it is she's just very odd she kind of reminds me a little bit of the girl from the ring a little bit with her hair is coming down she kind of looks dead a little bit too i mean she's she's really she's really weird like i was watching this i'm just like what what's wrong with this girl like why why is she like this like but she's interesting i like her but basically what she wants gonna kill her to do is to, to defeat these two guys named Knuckles and Shoot, and Knuckles and Shoot, they actually have the tokens that they probably need in order to advance the NGL, and they have to defeat them in order to, you know, get to NGL, and the thing is, she's going to use them so she can go to NGL as well, and so with this, she ends up taking Gonakilla to the place where they're going to go train, and the person that's going to train them is freaking Bisky, a reoccurring character, I was just like, Bisky's back, Bisky's back. Biscuits, uh, give me some butter biscuits, son. Give me some butter biscuits, freaking biscuits, biscuits and gravy, son. She's back, son. Now I can make all the jokes again, man. I I'm happy, yeah. <laughs> but she's freaking happy. I I'm glad to see her here again. And basically, what they're going to um, train on is basically, well, at least the first part of the training, anyways, is that going to kill them. Gonna have to maintain their rent. They're gonna have to, um, like, basically exert some of their rent and just maintain it for three hours. Now, the problem is they can't really maintain that form for very long. They only maintain it for about, like, less than an hour, really. And so they're kind of struggling a little bit with this. And Palm seems a little bit concerned with how their training is going. And she even says this to Bisky after Gonna Kill the Pass Out. She's like, if they don't have enough potential, if they cannot succeed in this training, we might as well just stop it now. Like, there's no point in continuing this. It's all it's going to do is make me more irritated. And I'm going to get, I'm basically going to snap. And I'm going to have to kill all three of you, basically. And the thing is, Bisky is like, is that a threat? I'm just like, hmm. Like, the way she even said it, she just seemed very, very calm. Like, she just threatened to, well, kind of threatened to kill you. And she's like, no, it's not a threat. I'm just warning you. And I'm like, I don't know. Bisky just didn't seem worried at all. And I'm just curious. How strong is that girl? How strong is Palm? And what is the full extent of Bisky's power? Because, I mean, we've seen what she can do, but not to the full extent. So I'm just wondering just how powerful these characters are. And just, the power scale is very interesting. I just want to know where everyone is at, really, you know? But, yeah, so with that, Basically, Bisky's like, well, ask them if they want to continue the training. They, they'll stop. And what? Well, ask them if they want to continue the training. And so, um, Killa and Gon get up. And of course, Gon's like, yeah, we can do the training. Do not worry. And stuff. And so, freaking uh, Palm's just like, ah, that, that's beautiful. Like, she, like, I don't know. She's, she's like, she's like, kind of had a crush or fell in love all of a sudden off of that. I don't, I don't know. Like I said, she's very emotional. It's just, she can't control her emotions or something. I don't know. It's weird. It's where she just started blushing and stuff. And I'm just like, Okay, you know, he's a kid, you know, but I mean, I don't know, it's, it, was, it was weird. Oh, I forgot to mention, Bisky ends up asking Palm, what is basically the Punisher Force doing exactly, what is that's what doing, what, 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 what are their mission exactly, and basically what they're trying to do, what the Punisher Force is trying to do is gather intel on the Chimera Ant, they're trying to get information on what, 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 are the, what, what are the strains, weaknesses, and so on and so forth, so they can better combat these enemies. And they think that it might take like two months in order to do this whole thing. Is what at least is what Nertaro wants to wants to do, anyways. And they want to be able to avoid as many fights as possible. And it, it might be necessary to end up actually fighting, especially in the situation that they're in at the moment, because they're Pito sitting outside and he's kind of like I guess looking with her nin. So if if they ever if they get into where her nin area is, she'll notice them. And yeah, you already know what's gonna happen. They're gonna have to, gonna have to fight, and the fight will be inevitable. So she should, and the thing is, I have to say this. Nitro says that Nefro Pito actually is stronger, and I'm just like, well, how strong is Nefro freaking Pito? Like, I thought, I mean, Nitro's supposed to be some beast character. Like, he, he seems super powerful, but even Nefro Pito seems stronger than him. I'm just like, I mean, I guess Kill was right. But at the same time, his sight's actually better than Nefro Pito. He can see 
her without actually him, without her seeing him. So that's kind of cool. And so they basically set up a plan to basically, like, I'm not really sure what they're doing, but it's interesting. You remember that little, uh, like, hammer thingy that the other guy had? What's his name? I think it's Knowles. But yeah, that's not a hammer. That's a freaking uh, pipe. It was a big, gigantic pipe. A pipe. I'm, I'm just like, what the heck? That kind of threw me off. I didn't, I didn't expect that. I thought that was a hammer or something. That thing's huge. But he, this other guy, the guy with the um, glasses, he has uh, this, I guess, dimensional type of abilities. He, like because he took that um, pipe out of out of this like hole, I guess. I mean, it was it, it was interesting. So I'm wondering wondering what exactly is his whole capabilities, what his powers and stuff. And apparently, also those two characters are just as strong as Netero. And Neto used to be, I guess, the strongest uh, Nin user at one point. But that was like a century ago. So there should be stronger Nin users. I mean, freaking Gong's dad. Like, get Gong's dad in here. We can, if you get that sucker in there, I'm pretty sure Gong's dad is stronger than Neto or, you know, stronger than other suckers. I mean, come on now. You know what I'm saying? So I'm curious just what, are they, what exactly they're going to have to try to do here. Because Neverfield does notice, like, these things that they end up sending. Or well, he knows, like, sent, like, sent out, like, a little, like, all these buddies. I guess it's gonna like do some kind of distraction or something. I'm not exactly sure what is going on, but never Pito ends up noticing that. Not to mention another real guard member ends up coming out. He is born, and his name his name is really weird. His name is uh Shalapoof. His name is Shalapoof, and yeah, he has like butterfly wings and stuff, and he he's kind of interesting as well. And I'm I'm assuming he's also he's just as strong as Never Pito, and I'm wondering is he a specialist as well? Like we, I want to know what his um full on capabilities and his nim powers are exactly, and also. Towards the end of this episode as well, well with this episode actually, is just Nevro Pito. I guess she didn't cut up Kite. I mean, we saw his, we saw Kite's head sitting in her lap or his lap. But when we see in this episode, it seemed like he was back together and being preserved in a sense. And so Nevro Pito wanted to find her power, basically power, our power for her nin. She hasn't decided what she really wanted yet. And so she's like, you know what? I know what I want. I wanted to be able to basically have another fight with this guy. Have another fight with Kite. So it seems like she's going to have some kind of rebirth abilities. Try to reborn care, like a, a person back to life and stuff. So this is going to be interesting. I'm not exactly sure how this ability is going to work exactly. Is he going to be like a, a mindless drone to, to her like um, rebirth abilities? Or or like what, what, what kind of ability? Like what, how is this going to work exactly? You know what I mean? It's just it's, it's very interesting because she wants to basically bring Kite back to life so she can fight him once again because she enjoyed the fight that she had with him. So it must have been a pretty epic fight then, I guess you can say. I wish I wish we got we, I wish we got to see that then. <laughs> but nonetheless, that was crazy when we, when I saw Kite's body there. I'm just like, I even had to think for a second. I'm like, is that Kite? Because I'm not used to wearing his hat on, you know. <laughs> so it kind of threw me off. I'm like, is that Kite? Right? Like like they just oh, what, what is Togashi doing, man? He just. He, it's, I feel like he don't care about his characters like that or something. I don't know. He's just like he kills them, and then he's then he then he like experiments on them. Like look what happened to freaking Pokel. He's getting exam, the brain exam, and he was butt naked. Like now kind of butt naked and stuff. Like uh and then he's gonna experiment on his body. I'm just like, oh my goodness, this is just it's just it's ridiculous. Like God, it's like there's no boundaries for his characters. It's like you you're gonna go through these problems. Like just I don't know what to say. It's just it's crazy. It's throwing me off. This this arc is just is getting is getting crazier and crazier by the second. And the other world guard, by the way, is gonna get rebirth reborn. Um, not reborn, but the other world guard also is gonna come out soon as well. So all three are gonna be out. Oh, this is just gonna be ridiculous. And not to mention, I guess that's like I guess I guess that's just a setup so that Enter Pilto will fight uh Netero. Knows will end up finding the other rogue guard and the other you know rogue guard end up finding the other person. So you know, so three on three bout is what's gonna happen. So. I don't know. At least that's what it seems like, anyway. So I just know this is gonna get crazy. I cannot wait to see the next episode. Like this, this stuff, just this arc is just getting it's shaping up to be so freaking good right now. I'm just getting excited for this. Like this, this is a great setup episode. I really enjoyed this episode here. Animation was pretty crisp, like always. And just like the story aspect, this and development of the story within this episode was really good, um, well developed as well. So not to mention we got some new characters in here as well. I like I, I like Palm. Uh, we ended up seeing, I think it was Knuckles, and Knuckles, he was, he was, he, I don't know, he, he's, he's like one of those Yakuza, Sam, like, 70 gang member people with those, with the hair and everything, with the suit and everything like that, so, he's kind of interesting, but he's, he's, he seems pretty powerful as well, so, like I said, this, this, like I said, I like the characters in here so far, 
Things are shaping up to be really good. So leave a comment below tell me what you think of this week's episode of Hunter x Hunter. But like to like this review and subscribe to my channel if you want to see some more Hunter x Hunter reviews from me. So yeah, it's been the Breakmaster. And until then, break out.